Hey guys, welcome back. This is day five of us being out on the hard. We got hauled out last week. We got the bottom job started. They did some sanding. We installed all the Lumitec lights and wired them up. Highfield came and picked up our dinghy for some repairs. We tried to install our new Chromox chain, but unfortunately it didn't fit on the a gypsy on the windlass, the wheel. And so we've got to uh, deal with that this week. Um, also this week, we're gonna be putting the copper coat on on the bottom job, completing that. We're gonna get a new blue stripe on the boat as well because the vinyl's peeling off. Olympic Marine is awesome. They're managing all this for us. And hopefully Highfield will finish the repairs, have our dinghy back. So hopefully we'll splash, which means we'll be back in the water in just a few days. Yeah, I'll let it float away. I'll let it float away. When the dinghy let it down the other day, it fell about that far because the thing came in loose from the spool, the davits line. And so we're just putting, those those davits lines are made out of Dyneema and they've been there for probably 17 years. So we're restringing new davit line. We already did the one that came loose and we're gonna do the other side and we're gonna run some more Lumitech lights. I'm gonna put a transom light or a davits light back here. Okay. And so we're gonna run a davits light so we can see right under the boat here. Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> So there's a winch right here, if you can see, and the davit line connects to that winch, and it comes back here and it feeds, and that's how the rope goes up and down. When the dinghy fell, this came completely off. There it goes. That was it. Gosh, dang it. But now this doesn't want to come off when we want to replace it, so uh, I'm in here trying to get it done. Let me go back in. Come on, Finn, you're on film. <laughs> Finn's covered with the American flag. America. What are you doing? Supervising? Hold, holding the line? Yeah. I think there's a this song. This is really dangerous. I think there's a song in there somewhere. Hold the line. Love isn't always on time. Now dad is in the hole. I'm always in the hole. Not necessarily. Splicing is Dyneema. What did he do? I don't remember. This was all messed up from the dinghy. Oh, yeah, hidden. yeah, yeah, from the dinghy. Look at that, man. Olympic Marine's got some great fiberglass guys. <laughs> and then he fixed where we hit that bombing a few months ago? Yeah. Where's that? Yeah, well, we had a chip in the rudder from probably hitting something. We didn't hit it on the ground, but yeah. he fixed that. And then where I hit that bombing in Egypt. Yeah. He can't hear me. He's got earbuds in. Something. Luckily, it's just a bit of superficial damage, as you can see, just a little fiberglass nick. Nothing Keith can't fix the next time we get hauled out. Yeah, looks good. And then you said the prop is done too? There you go. Yeah, that looks better. Looks nice. So we got our chain thing sorted. Uh, this is the right gypsy. The chain is the right chain. It's just the welds on the chain are just a little, uh, a little, uh, a little too big. Little, little, just a hair. And so Maxwell got right back to me and said, "Keith, just grind a little bit out of the pockets of the uh, chain well, and just, just a little. I mean, it's not much. I'm talking less than a millimeter." Yeah. And and I did that, and as you can see, you're fixing to see it works just fine. So it's an easy fix, and eventually that would have worn out. Uh, it would have the chain would have made those grooves in there so it would fit better, but it's going to be a perfect fit. Mm -hmm. 
So one of the reasons we went with Chromox chrome chain uh, is because of castling, what they call castling, where the chain uh, starts to castle up and pile up in the chain box. And Chromox chain won't do that. It, it'll uncastle, it slides off itself because it's so slippery, it doesn't stick to itself and it just keeps falling. So you don't have castling in your, in your chain box and that is a big plus. And it just looks great. I mean, <laughs> thank you Chromox, what a wonderful chain and we love it. Beautiful. They took the strap off too. Yeah. Making headway today. Yeah, they are. Now we gotta take the swivel off and hook it up to the chain. Look at that icky chain. What are you gonna do with all that? I don't know. Good, that's good chain. That's brand new chain right there. Yeah. Why is that a different color than the rusted? Because the zinc wore off of it off of that part down there? Yeah. morning this is day seven on the hard we go from our Airbnb over to uh, Olympic Marine every day to get work done to supervise we've got a few more repairs and things done that I didn't film um, but today hopefully you know, yesterday they finished sanding and today they'll they'll start polishing and uh, what do you say waxing and polishing yeah. Yeah. so they'll get they'll do that before they start copper coat hopefully on what is today? Tuesday. 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 Today's Tuesday. So tomorrow, hopefully, they'll start copper coat if they finish waxing and polishing today. And also today, we are putting on the head sail. Yes. Right. Yes. Because uh, the Pro Furl motor, motor. Got the new Pro Furl. Thank you, Pro Furl. Got that in. Got it installed. And uh, yeah, no wind, so we're gonna get that done. It's kind of early, so I'm kind of slow this morning. It's like seven o'clock. And our two, uh, two, two, uh, what do you, what do you call it, your, your workers? My love bugs. Love bugs. My little love bugs. They're going to help as well. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, but what are these things sitting here? So those are the foils. So Profile sent us a kit for everything. We was gonna replace the swivel up there, the foils, the things the self slides in and all the stuff they sent the full complete kit because when you place one, you need to kind of replace them all. The problem is Waypoint Sailing and Rigging, they quoted us the job to, to install the furler, to install the, the foils, to install the swivel. And then they subcontracted it out to another rigging guy and they didn't have time when they got here so we don't have time to do all this and they only put the motor on and they left and yet we paid for the complete job and so waypoint sales and rigging i don't recommend them much or the other guy i don't know what his name was but he was complaining the whole time he got here and now we're gonna once we get somewhere else we got to pay somebody else to take this down put all this back on and um, we got to carry around these extra foils for until i can get somewhere where i get a good rigger to come out and do, do it right so there we go where are we going to put them I don't know where we're going to put them, but they're not light. <laughs> Lovely. All right, Now we got the sail up. Yep. Now we can sail. Now we got a head sail. We also sent Jack up the mast in a new bosun seat to install and wire up some Lumitech lights. And the guys finished the sanding and put in the new vinyl stripe in preparation of the copper coat installation tomorrow.
So we're fixing to install the copper coat. Unfortunately, we can't do it in this marina because they have rules. They want their people to do it. So we're they're doing it. But it's a simple product to install. You mix this with this and the copper. Put it on in a thin coat as fast as you can. All the way up and down. Then go back and put the second coat on when it's tacky touch. When you can just tack it, it's not dry. Do the third coat, fourth coat, fifth coat. And you're done. It's that Five simple. Coat. Wow. Cool. And uh, they're going to do the starboard hole today and then tomorrow we're going to do the port hole and uh, should be done and then once once it's set then we sand it to activate the copper which is this stuff so the copper actually sticks out which should prevent growth so we're going to find out This is day, I don't know, 10 or 11 on the hard. I don't even know. They're all running together. But we have a surprise that I haven't shared with you yet. In the meantime, while we're getting all this haul out done, we're staying in the Airbnb and our med crew has arrived. Most of them have arrived and we brought one of them with us. And that is Mr. Luke from uh, Florida. Cool, hey Luke. <laughs> and you'll learn a lot more about all of them in, in next week's video. So. Stay tuned. But today we're gonna what, put the prop back in. Yeah. And the boys are gonna do some other work. I'm not sure exactly. So here we go. Let's go. He's putting on new zincs. The prop. All right, so this is a zinc, guys. There's different kinds. There's aluminum and zincs and they're anodes. And what they do is they, this is a softer metal. And you can see how it's pitted. It's because there's electrolysis in the water. Electrolysis from, from boat docks, electrolysis from, from your own boat, from one on the shaft and one on the other. These are harder metals. This is obviously iron, stainless steel shaft. This is uh, brass, bronze. And so what these do is the electricity eats away at this. The electrolysis eats away at the softer metals instead of eating away at this. That's the purpose of these. And you gotta keep them changed. To, I mean, this still probably had a lot of life in it. It, it did have a lot of life, but I, every time I haul out, I just go ahead and change them. I could, so if you don't have that, then it, then the it, prop, it, would it, actually the prop starts to look like this. Interesting. This yeah, is what a new zinc looks like for this boat. There we go. Hmm. Versus an old zinc. While Keith's doing that, I wanted to address a question that a lot of you guys have after our Surfshark video where I made a comment about us having five kids. And a lot of you have seen our four kids. You know, we have Anna, Jack, Finn, and Kate. Anna was on the boat with us for a while and then went to college in Texas. We also, we also have another child. Keith was married before me and had a daughter named Tate. And she is now 27 years old. And so when I say we have five kids, that, that, you know, she, I'm, I'm stepmom, so that counts. But also, I have had five children also, so technically we are parents of six. Um, between Jack and Finn, uh, we had another baby, me and Keith, named Jane. She was actually stillborn. I was 39 and a half weeks pregnant and had the, uh, the first three kids, Jack, Anna, and Jane were born at home. We had a midwife. And, on the, and they were great, great pregnancies, great deliveries, everything. On the third one, the midwife came out um, about two days before I went into labor and heartbeat was good, everything was strong. And then about two days later, I went to labor at night, 
she showed up in about 15 minutes, couldn't find the heartbeat. And so I proceeded to give birth to a, a chubby, beautiful eight pound baby girl, but she never took a breath. So she lives in heaven with, uh, with all of our other ancestors and one day I'll see her again. But that was back in 2005. And we had Finn and Kate after that and they had a great pregnancy, great delivery, everything was fine. So we don't know what happened to baby Jane. She just- uh, You were doing a bunch of cocaine during that time. <laughs> Whatever. A lot, of co a lot of coke, a lot of alcohol. No. She reverted back to working the streets. And we, we just don't know. We just don't know. I'm trying to tell a good, sweet story here and I get Keith's commentary. Yeah. So, but with stillborn babies and miscarriage, stuff like that, you often don't know what happened. So. I know what happened. You <laughs> killed her. Okay. <laughs> so we're taping this up because we're gonna prop, put prop speed on the, the props and the shafts to protect them from growth. Like we put copper coat on here. And so, uh, we don't want copper coat on this because we want the anode to work. So we don't want it coated from the water. And we're just going to tape this up. Are you putting that on today? Crop speed? Uh -uh. I'll do that on Monday. Okay. Those just at any chandlery? Yeah, most chandleries have them. You need to know the size of your prop and yeah. all the different things to go with that. All right, also, guys, Keith did get a new hoodie. This is his work hoodie now, so that's why you're seeing it a bunch. You haven't seen his new one. It's clean and it doesn't have rips in it. And it says, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fan's got some merch. He's building a brand. And if it's if it's on a website, by the time you watch this video, I'll have the link in the corner. It'll be right there. Right there, I am thinking. I can hold it. You want me to hold it? I've got something for you to hold. So we got all new bedding for all the beds. Um, the, the original bedding, the stuff we have was pretty gross and old, pillows even. So the, the guests can all have new sheets, new comforters, and new pillows. And the house is a disaster because we're, they're polishing and waxing outside. So our new cushions have to stay inside. Um, Things are coming together. This is our extra bedroom. Finn is gonna sleep here when the guests arrive here on the boat. We just clean all this stuff and put it away. It's just kind of storage right now. But this is where Finn is gonna sleep. And so we got him new, new bedding and pillows as well. Oh, and I have a new shirt here. Look at this. This is uh, our circumnavigation shirt and the lettering machine created the logo for us. So it's on the, it's on our store. If you hop over to sailingguitar.com and click on shop, you can buy our limited edition circumnavigation t-shirt, which I really, really like. There are a couple of colors, green, and this color I like a lot. Okay, this is Jack's room. He's getting new bedding too, but he'll keep his bed. And then Captain's Peak up here is where our two guys, guests are gonna sleep. And they got all new bedding as well. We just haven't made the beds yet because the boat is still a mess. And then that's Finn's room. So he'll move to the kite room. We'll have two girls in this room. But they're working right now, putting that prop back on. So cover your face. You okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> you cannot see me. You cannot see me yet. <laughs> so we brought one more med crew to work with us, but you will meet her next week in next week's video. So Get she, see ya. She's all crushed <laughs> out. <laughs>
Tune in next week for Splash Day as we put her back in the water and get our dinghy back from Highfield. We also meet our new crew for the first time and get started on our Med Crew 2023 adventures.